Hi, in this video from tvtrade.e we're just going to show you how you can basically set the um, the IP address of your DVR on the local area network or LAN as it's more commonly known. Okay, So in a previous video we've showed you how to determine um, what sort of IP range you should be using. So uh, now we're going to apply what we've learned in that previous video to the actual DVR. So when you're in the DVR just right click, I'm using the mouse, you can of course use your remote control uh, for the DVR also but just for the, for this video I'm just using the mouse so um, just go to main menu go to advanced go to network and you can see here it's set up TCP IP type static okay so you have a few different options but for for this case we're going to use static okay you want to make sure that your media port is 9000 you want to make sure the web port is 80 and we're going to set the IP address up here as um, what I suggested in the previous video. So I'm going to make it 150. Okay, so it's an easy enough one to remember. Um, and also it's high enough up in the range that, you know, more than likely, well, definitely not, nothing else is going to be using, using it. Okay, so you won't get a conflict on your network. And as I suggested in the video before, the 192.168.001, that we found out from the previous video that stays the same it's only the last part here the 150 that we're changing okay now depending on your router and which broadband company you're with the first three um, parts of the IP address range may be different okay so in general routers um, tend to dish uh, out IP addresses in the range 192.168.1 point you know blah 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 but you know it may be different but if you just follow the theory from the previous video um, on how to determine your IP address on the local area network, it's the same principle. But in general, they will dish them out, you know, in the form 192.168.1.xxx, whatever that may be. So once you have a change, then all you have to do is simply just click and then go apply, and it saves successfully. And that's basically it. Then um, you can just exit out of there and exit out of the menu system, and that's basically it. Uh, it'll just ask you to reboot the machine then and you just press OK and the actual DVR will reboot. So that's basically it, how you just set the static IP for your local area network on your DVR.